Something about the sound of the sandhill crane inspires me to do what I do. Birds, what a beautiful mystery. Their living patterns, their migrations, the places that sustain them. It's the wetlands, the watersheds, which serve predominantly as my backdrop. When I'm out there, I see this relationship as disrupted. Because of this, I photograph the land in fragments, then construct collages to create newly peace dynamics. Hello, my name is Krista Elric, and I want to thank you for spending time to learn more about my photography project, where I'm photographing in places that John James Audubon wrote about, painted, and hunted birds. Come join me on this adventure so that we can see what birds encounter now. My journey with Audubon brought me to his first home in Mill Grove in the secret rock where he and Lucy cemented their lifelong love and partnership. In Henderson, Kentucky, I documented an emotional landscape where he started his family, failed as a businessman, and spent time in prison for it. From the bluffs of Cincinnati, my photo collage radiates the hope and doubt that Audubon wrote about when he began his epic journey floating down the Ohio and Mississippi rivers to New Orleans in 1820. Photographing in Natchez, my images show the growth of forests as they were cotton fields when Audubon visited before the Civil War. Wherever he roamed, the presence of water seems to be the only constant to his past landscapes. The birds are much harder to find. In searching out the oldest habitats that might best reflect Audubon's time, I find most now are managed wildlife refuges or state parks. Sometimes they're golf courses, canals, or theme parks. Inevitably, these places are surrounded by the effects of modern day life. What is clear is that these preserved habitats offer sanctuary to a dwindling avian population. Recently, Everglades National Park awarded me an artist in residence in support of my Audubon project. Working along the Florida coastline will allow me to finish the research and photography phase of the project. I would like to raise $10,000 so that I can buy film, process negatives, and make many work prints. It will also allow me to photograph key sites from the air or a bird's eye view. Several Audubon related institutions have already pledged to show my work when it is finished. I am so honored and excited to exhibit my project in 2013 during the 75th anniversary celebrations of the John James Audubon Museum in Henderson, Kentucky. While my exhibition is hosted at the museum, another anniversary will be acknowledged. It is in this area where Audubon wrote of his encounter with passenger pigeons exactly 200 years earlier. I plan to photograph the sky at Salt River for three days on this anniversary. In the event that I overfund, I will produce an exhibition of silver gelatin prints and pigment ink collages for the Audubon Museum in Henderson. This exhibition will be designed to travel to land conservation societies, museums, and universities who are also inspired by Audubon's legacy. Please come join me on my adventure with Audubon and pledge your support today. Thank you so very much. To quote Audubon, I strongly advise you to make up your mind, shoulder your gun, muster all your spirits, and start your search of the interesting unknown.